Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guy YouTube videos. If you like this video, please leave a like and even comment below. And if you like all my content, please hit the subscribe button. And why not click the bell icon for notifications too? That way you can see all my videos. Give me, give me the ball. Uh. Here we are. Our time has come. Guys, look at this. Look at this snake. You know what this is? Well, let me tell you what it's not. Let me tell you what it's not. It's not. See this? You see that right there? You know what that is? You know what color that is? It's not red. That's for sure. So, you know what this is not? This is not a red tail boa constrictor. No. This is normal boa. What is she doing here? Let me tell you this story of our latest rescue of this big girl. And yes, I say our latest rescue because we are a rescue family. Everyone who subscribes on YouTube, everyone who's a member on Patreon. We're going to tell you this girl's story. I'm going to take her out. You're going to get to see her and how awesome she is. Uh, but let's talk about this big girl. She, we don't know her age. And with, with snakes, guys, it's difficult because especially big snakes like boas, you you can, I'll tell you why snakes are hard to, to age if you don't know when they were born. You can power feed or you can underfeed. So you can have a really young snake that's huge. It's been power fed. It's not going to live its full 20, 25 year lifespan, but it's a big snake. And that's what happens the most. It's a big snake that gets big quick because it's power fed. Most of them, big snakes, boas, they'll just eat. You feed them three or four jumbo rats, blah, 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 blah. and people will feed them big. And also those bigger rats are not good. Because when you start getting rats that are really big, XL, double XL, triple XL, that's fat content. That's that's not really anything else. That's fat content in there. And um, boas don't do well with really high fats. So you, you're better off feeding them two of like a large rat or an XL rat that has less fat. And if they need something bigger, then you're moving to rabbits or you're moving to pigs. You're, you're moving to something different, um, even full-size guinea pigs. But I don't know her age because of that. So let me tell you her story. This big girl, six and a half feet. I got a message saying my boyfriend is going to cut the head off of my snake unless someone can come and get her. Just think about that for a second. This beautiful girl here. He's going to chop her head off. What does that even mean? So, I'm gonna, names are going to be redacted. This lady in Ohio was moving to Michigan to move in with her seven-year, long-range long relationship boyfriend. And five days before she moved in, she decided to buy a big snake. She's always wanted a big snake. So she bought this which she was told was a female Colombian red tail boa. Yeah, it's not a red tail. For $50. She asked the boyfriend, is it okay if we have a big snake? He said, yes, great. She comes up, the boyfriend sees the snake, he's terrified, the snake is huge. Six and a half foot snake is big guys, but it's not huge. He told her she had till the end of the week to get rid of the snake or he's chopping its head off. Now, granted, this is a lady who just quit her job, left everyone to move to Michigan. So she can't just drop and go back, right? She's here. Uh, I just, not a great relationship start, right? Or an in-person relationship start. So he puts the boa in a pillowcase. And the boa lives in an attached garage in this pillowcase for four days. Um, 
And I went and got her on the fourth day. Now, I went and got her the 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 day of. Um, was contacted. It was early in the morning. I had a meeting for work at uh, 10 a.m. I had to drive out to. It actually worked out great because the person's home is in between my house and the meeting location. So on the way back from the meeting at about 11.30, I stopped there, picked her up, brought her home. She's a big girl. She's heavy. And she's a sweetheart. And she didn't deserve to be in a pillowcase with her life in question, you know, for four days. Uh, Sucks. I mean, I probably wouldn't recommend buying a big snake if you're moving in with someone who's never had a snake before. But, uh, yeah, this is our our latest rescue. She's in great health. She got a bath. Thoroughly inspected for mites. There's no mites. She's got no mouth bubbles. She's not opening her mouth to breathe. No, this was someone's pet who then sold her and then it didn't work out. She, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Meh, kind of. Especially, yeah, there on the tail. She's got some blue. She's getting ready to shed. You can see the blue underneath the skin uh, in some areas. And I guess we'll hit that there. People will ask, why do snakes, you know, why do their eyes go blue when they're getting ready to shed? Or they'll say they're in blue. So snakes, they secrete underneath their top layer of skin, their dead layer of skin. They secrete a blue liquid to help moisten and separate the old skin that's going to be shedding from their healthy skin. That's why when they come out of a shed, they're like nice, they're shiny, it's all been lubricated. And that top layer of skin, you know, you've seen a shed, it's pretty much translucent, it's clear. Especially in the eyes though, because remember, snakes shed their eye caps, right? So their eyes, so sometimes when you look at the shed of the uh, body, it's kind of whitish, although there are some areas where it's like really clear, but the eye cap, if you see it, is super clear. So because the eye cap is super clear, when it fills with blue liquid, which is why they can't see very well when they're first going in a shed because their healthy eye gets just filled with in between the new eye cap and the old eye cap with that blue shedding liquid. It's called there in blue. Um, and we can see it really good because it's really clear. So that's why you'll see blue, not always just on the eyes. You'll see it along the body and everything. But um, let's take her out. Let's move her around and let's talk about her a little bit more. All right. Look at this big, healthy girl. Six and a half feet of snake. Big, healthy head, healthy body, and uh, she'll only get bigger. Look at this. Look at this. How can you threaten to chop a head off? Of this girl and she is super friendly for <laughs> look at her trying to wedge her head like she can fit under the door she's she's smelling around um, super super nice super friendly super nice you can't threaten to to kill an animal that's someone's pet it's just not right it's just not right Anyways, guys, that's it. I wanted to show you this girl, tell you about the new rescue. Luckily, she's healthy, so there's nothing too crazy. Take it easy, everyone. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.